Remember when I told you guys that I'm gonna go to New York again? Well, here it is, 10 days later, and I'm back. Water bottle, check. Suitcase, check. Backpack, check. I'm gonna walk in. Let's go fly back to New York City. This time for about four days. Four days, so we're gonna do a lot within these four days. And I'm gonna bring all of you guys with me. Let's go. So I don't know if I'm correct or not, but there was a ruling, I think a couple of days ago, that we don't have to wear a mask in airplanes or airports anymore. I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, I think masks are off now, so I can take off my mask and now you guys can hear me. We're good, okay, cool. Awesome, we gotta go there. There's not a long line, which is always great. We are at A22, which is that way actually. But I'm not gonna head there. What I'm gonna do is go to this thing called Mini Suites. And it's a thing with Priority Pass that you get to get a room for one hour free and you can sleep there, you can work there, hang out, just have your own private space. So anyway, let's go check it out. It's like a five minute walk back this way. And uh, this is what the Priority Pass gets you here in DFW Terminal A. Terminal B is better because B has food and drinks and all that, but we're gonna stay here for now, so. Here it is, and I got my room, Ladybird. And look, there's even snacks. What's up, guys? TV, snacks, I think they're for purchase, though. Wipes, and let's see, guest card. Don't know what that's for. But we literally have a chair, and then we literally have a couch. An Amazon thing, I think. Maybe with some music, maybe something. Don't know if this is complimentary. Oh man, that's money too. Anyway, air condition even. You can even control your air condition. And a nice picture of nothing. All right, guys, I am here in the Minute uh, Suites, which is a one hour complimentary suite here at DFW Terminal A. And uh, fortunately, I have this card, which came with my credit card, Chase credit card. And uh, this gives me free access to here for one hour before my flight. So I can literally sleep on this couch down here, or I can work on my laptop right here. I think if you get membership just for this thing, it's like $50 a month, it's ridiculous. And that's only worth it if you fly like once a week, or once a month, or often at least. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the, the room just a little bit and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I want you to, whenever you have time, get on Spotify and look up Daily Insomnia Podcast. They are my guys from Chicago, always funny. They just came out with an episode, episode 233 today. Listen to it. I actually downloaded it and I'm gonna listen to it on my flight to New York. So I'll catch you guys at the boarding gate and we'll go from there. Hopefully there's no delay. I really hope, I hope that everything goes fine because the last three or four flights I've had has had some sort of delay or cancellation. Just, it's getting annoying. It might be the pilots, it might be COVID. But anyway, we'll catch you guys soon. But my flight, I think that's my airplane right there. You can see it. Just gotta walk down there and we're off. Thank you guys for joining me. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Give me critique. I need to know what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, um, how to better myself. That's what I wanna do uh, for these videos. Just like that. We are out in New York. Masks are still required here in New York, so gotta put it on. But I went the whole flight without wearing a mask. But don't worry, I got my three doses of the vaccine, so I'm good. Catch you guys. So as I'm walking this hallway, I see New York City in the distance. Pretty cool, huh? 
you can already tell. Look at that. Nice. If you guys remember, I was here on my last video. It just, it was a lot darker than this. But here is LaGuardia being worked on. Really nice airport, I like it. I think it used to have a bad reputation, but now it's, that was pretty cool. So I like the water fountain feature that you probably saw earlier in the video. So right now my Lyft driver is gonna pick me up. We're gonna go to Long Island, uh, spend the night over there and uh, spend a day over there actually. Then go to New York City and that's where I'm going to film more, so you guys come along, give me a like, thanks. Hi guys, I'm back here, back in New York after 10 days from the last video that you're going to see before this one. So anyway, we're going to New York City, we're going to have dinner at 6, our Uber is right there, and we're going to take you guys along. Sheraton Hotel. Here are the keys, room 402. We're gonna check it out. Oh, we got a free upgrade too. From a queen to a king bed. Not too bad. It's got plenty of light coming in. We'll, we'll do a room tour a little bit later on. What are we gonna do it now? Here's the bed. She just burned herself. Oh well. Okay, so it's just a very small room. Not much to it. TV. The bathroom is around the corner. There is a little desk for working, whatever, closet for your clothes. Some shelves, storage here. Just uh, some little side tables. And then the view, it's very, very, very bright. But there is absolutely nothing back here, so. This is a lobby to our hotel, really nice. We're gonna go out. Going to dinner. Catch you guys over there. So guys, this is like a pretty cool train station here. We're very near the World Trade Center. And um, as you can see, it's like a dome up there. Very nice. Right now, we're just putting money into the car to go into the subway system right over there. So, I like it. Never been in here. Look at the nice church over there. Never seen that. I wonder what the name of this neighborhood is. I forgot. Looks really nice. We're close to Soho and close to Chinatown. That's all I know. I like it. coming across the National Museum of American Indian. That is nice. Potions. Meanwhile, we got this thing over here. 
pretty cool. Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh, yes, yes, double, 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 double toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron, bubble. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? It's really nice. Oh, my goodness. Second. What are you doing? It's like a magnet piece in the drink. Sorry, am I creepy? Okay, what are you doing? So, I'm going to put this on the uh, whirlpool thing right here. It's the... So it's right here. Destruction of the tree. It's the fairy house. Right here. So, I'm going to put it there, supposedly. Oh, right yeah. In the fairy I have to sure. put the wand to the cauldron down here. <laughs> and it spins my drink. Magic. Magic, huh? Absolutely. You betcha. <laughs> Looks good, looks good. Thank you. Thank you. We put our potions together and that's why we have to think of an evil thing or a nice thing. Good morning guys, what's going on? We're staying at the Four Points by Sheraton, which is back over here. It's a nice hotel so far. is falling in but it's a nice hotel we don't have a view of much that's why I'm not showing a view in this video but what we do have a view of is this public park it's 24 hour access and it just looks amazing it doesn't even look real what that looks like up there because it's such a nice like just tall buildings like all bunched up right here so anyway we're gonna go to breakfast it's called Zaza I'm gonna show you guys some of the food that we have so let's go We're gonna go eat over there in the hole in the wall. It's an Australian breakfast brunch place. A pulled pork Benedict, I think. That's what it's called. And I got the bricky roll. It's so good. That hole in the wall. Okay, new update. We actually got our cappuccino, we got our cortado, and we got the hot chocolate. With the breakfast, we're about to enjoy it. The cool thing is that New York City has sculptures, like the one behind me, just out of nowhere. We just made a right turn, I mean a left turn, and we just have a sculpture. It might be a sign, it might be like the name of who did it and what's it called, so. Anyway, let's go that way. This looks like a jail. The good thing about New York mornings are that there's nobody around. We literally saw one dude that was running around like a horse. Other than that, <laughs> we have the whole city to ourselves, it looks like, on this side of town at least. And we see the sakura trees down there. That's pretty. Okay, like we said, we're just walking to breakfast here about 7 a.m. And we see yet another sculpture here. We see another sculpture down there, the orange one, with the steel uh, pieces. And then I think there's another one down there somewhere. But we're gonna go find out. So let's go before this car hits me. The nice flowers coming out because it's the end of April. Pink, red, and yellow. Look at that. Pretty, huh? They really take care of their flowers here. But here is a World Trade Center. Isn't that nice? One of the tallest buildings here in the Western Hemisphere. So that's pretty cool. I've been up there a couple times. I would recommend the observatory up there. So. Anyway, let's go to breakfast. Memorial for those who unfortunately died on the Twin Towers right there. Okay, uh, we're on a different street now because we gotta go around because of the construction. But what's funny to us is that we see tickets on these cars here, uh, like parking tickets. And in New York City, if you look down there, um, you'll see parking tickets on those three cars right here one two three and uh, the parking situation is always you're always gonna get like a ticket it seems like if you park out here in New York City because they're so strict on where you go but uh, on the way of seeing that we see more sakura trees with a nice church in the back which is really really nice so we just walked into Zaza and we see these beautiful yummy pastries Look at that. 
all kinds of things. All kinds of breads, croissants, cookies, cannolis, blueberry cheesecake, looks good, chocolate cheesecake. Yeah, perfect. So anyway, we're seated over there. We're gonna have our breakfast we just ordered with a nice coffee, cheese, cream, oh, cream cheese, Danish. Yeah, I know how to make that. I make it pretty good at home. Here's our breakfast. I got a, uh, a special omelet with avocado, sausage, and cheese. And we got some egg benedicts with salmon. That's good. We'll give it a rating after. All right. My review of uh, breakfast was an 8 out of 10. Uh, it was really good at Zaza. So I recommend it. Zaza is close to the World Trade Center. Not too far from it. All right, I'm gonna show you this finish line for the marathon that's gonna happen today. All right, down there. Leaving New York today is a sad day, but I'll be back soon again. Love this city. Food options alone would make me come back any day of the week, so doesn't matter. Ugly train station above us. <laughs> That's really old. We are waiting for the LIRR. We're gonna go head to the airport, JFK. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I got a trip in May, so please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and watch out for that one in May. Just when I thought that the air train was free, I see eight dollars all the way down there. I got a charge for everything. That's how we lose things like that. I have to charge up a bit, but now my flight is from uh, gate 42 down there. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe and give me a like. I'm gonna do more of these on every single trip that I do from now on, just because I've been to so many places and haven't documented any of it. So, give me that like and subscribe and follow me through my travels. That's why I'm calling The Lost Lion because I am partly lost in everything that I do. But I enjoy the best out of it and I make the best out of it. So, pretty fun to, uh, to bring you guys along, give you a laugh, show you my awkwardness, show you my struggles, and also my, my wins. Uh, just the way I travel with points and I want to I want to talk about all that good stuff in, in future videos how to travel like cheaply or on points and how to like save money here and there because it is expensive it can get expensive but there are ways to cut to cut corners to you know uh, help your wallet a little bit so we'll give that a try in the future so keep up and um, got so many trips coming out through the rest of this year and uh, it's gonna keep going so we're only gonna get stronger so Catch y'all on the next one.